hello everyone me adjit with a new video and in this video we will see how you can access any of the ports of raspberry pi from anywhere in the world without port forwarding so as we know that port forwarding sometimes uh, becomes a little bit difficult due to things like uh, dynamic ip static ip and if you are behind the isp then also it can be a little bit difficult so for that reason here i have a very easy solution using which you can access any of the ports of Raspberry Pi over the internet. And here we will use a service called remote.it. So let's see how to do it. So in this video, we are going to use a service called remote.it. So basically using this, you can access uh, ports of your different devices. So as you can see, uh, virtual private internet for secure private communication between your computer devices and people so basically uh, you are, it's it supports cross platform so basically you can uh, use it in, on your android or from in your ios or from a simple browser so basically from this kind of devices you can access the ports of your different devices so for example we can also install it in raspberry pi so in this video we will install it in raspberry pi and we will see how you can access the ports of Raspberry Pi, any ports of Raspberry Pi uh, using your other devices. And the most important thing is it's totally free. So for personal use, definitely. For commercial use, it's not free, but for personal use, it's totally free. So you can definitely use this. So for using this, at first you have to create an account. So you just go to sign up and here you create an account and you Okay, and you remember the email address and the password because we will need this in uh, we will need the email address and the password in future. So after you create after creating the account, what you have to do, you have to get into your Raspberry Pi. So here I am using Putty for SSH, but you can use uh, BNC or direct HDMI connection, whatever you want. So the username is Pi and the password is Raspberry in default. So now I am inside my Pi. So the first thing we have to do is to update our Pi. So sudo app get update. So it has got updated now after that we have to do we have to install this uh connected it's not connected it's connected the there's no e actually and i don't know why they have given this name so basically this is the remote it, uh to use remote it we have to <coughs> install this one so i have already installed this that's why it's showing that it's already in the newest version <coughs> so after installing it you have to uh, run the installer so basically whenever you want to change any settings in this remote it from your raspberry pi so for example if you want to add a port or something like that you have to use the same command okay sudo uh, connect uh, connect td installer i will put all the commands in the description so that you can copy from there so now as you can see uh, there are four options sign into your existing remote it account request a code for new account enter a verification code so we have already created the account so we will definitely sign in into our existing account but using the two three basically if you haven't created the account you can uh, create it directly from here so at first you have to enter two then you have to give your email address and then in your email address you will get a code then you have to uh, press 3 and inside that you have to give your uh, that code actually and then you have to again give the password uh, but i think creating an account before is better so i have already created the account and we just need to sign in here so we have to give our username uh, the email address so you give your email address here and after that you have to give the password so the password of the account you have just created in that remote account so you give it and after that just wait so as you can see it's saying enter a name for your device so basically uh, you have to give a name for your device because when you will uh, open the web interface of remote it you will see that name okay so for example, here I want to give it a name Sparklers, Sparklers uh, Pi, 
maybe sparkler spy so this is the name of my device in remote it server now it is registering the device now as you can see so here if you see service name protocol lan address port application so basically here you will see all of your ports and services you want to use so as i haven't currently added anything so there is nothing but after adding the ports you will see all the services ports here okay so now there are five options so attach a remote service uh, attach or reinstall a remote service to lan application remove a service and then remove all services now you want to attach some services here services means support so for example i want to attach uh, so at first let's press one here okay so we want to attach a port so that we can access the port from anywhere in the world now as you can see it has given already some options so ssh OA port on 80 bnc somebody mode so for example let's say we want to use the ssh port add the ssh port now you click one here and enter so you have to do all the things one time okay so after you do all the settings from the next time when you will restart it you don't need to do anything else okay it will automatically get started so this is the one time you have to set up everything now uh, as you can see the default port for ssh 22 would you like to continue with the default port yes obviously we want to use 22 and uh, now it is registering the port And as you can see to register the port now we have to give a name to this service okay so i want to give it like sparkler uh, ssh you can give it any name so the process is very easy but just you have to follow one by one now if you see there is one, one process already added so as you can see service names backless ssh protocol is ssh lan application is localhost port 22 and uh, application okay okay so one process already added now let's say why you want to add another process so here you can add any of the processes maybe vnc or anything but it may be it may be possible that you want to add any other kind of ports okay so the ports which are not available here in that case we have to use this custom tcp so 10 you click here 10 and now it will say you to enter the port number so for example in my raspberry pi if you see port now in port number 5000 if you see 5000 i have uh, raspberry pi cam web interface so this is my cam as you can see my hand so this is the camera and so i want to access this uh, port actually this service from over the internet so i have to add this port number 5000 there so you have to write 5000 and uh, now you have to give a name give it a name so just wait and um, as it is asking the name it's let's say sparklers camera So like this, you can add as many ports as you want and uh, it, you can uh, actually you can add any of the ports you want. Okay, so there is no restriction like you have to just add SSH VNC, nothing like that. So now as you can see, we have SSH already added and TC camera already added. So now we have two processes and uh, now I think these two are enough for me right now for testing. But you can add as many as processes you want. So let me for now exit so click five here and uh, you want to exit yes i want to exit now after exiting after exiting you don't need to do anything okay from the next restart it will automatically uh, this service will restart it okay so you just uh, you don't need to do anything but when you need to add more ports you just use this command again and do these things okay so the next time when you will when you will is, use this command you will already see that these services are already there now let's use this service so for this you just go to this page and then sign in you need to sign in with that account so also you can use your android app i will show you in android but for now let's see in the web how it works so as you can see here you have to put your email id and your password and as you can see here you can see that here it will 
can see the devices so there are two devices currently which is now this is one of the previous devices i used don't buy and this is the current device and as you can see this status this uh like this tick sign this mean this uh, means basically that your device is online okay so as you can see ready to connect that means it's online you can see the hardware id the internal ip external ip okay this kind of things so here we want to access this so click here now as you can see we have two processes sparkler ssh and sparkler camera so we want to for example let's say you want to use sparkler ssh so you click here so as you can see it's connecting so as you can see now it has give you this port and this uh, this port number and this ip proxy basically so you copy it here from here then so here i am closing this actually this putty session i am closing this one and let me switch my internet connection so so, so basically this is one where the pi is connected anonymous and this is where this is my phone's hotspot so i will connect to it so that like you will understand that it is working over the internet now i have connected to that this uh, phone's hotspot so basically i am in um, another network now i will open putty uh, putty and here i will put this proxy okay so i will put this proxy here and we need to also put this port number here like this and if you see here connect As you can see it's a uh, yes and login as pi and the password is you give the password and as you can see we are inside our pi over the internet so here you can do anything you want so it will the speed will be differ upon your internet speed it depends on your internet speed so if you have a good internet connection it will be much faster but sometimes it can be there can be a little bit delay if you have a like your if your internet speed is not that good but you can uh, do anything you want in this like this now let's check that uh, camera so you go here and camera you click in the camera so this is more interesting because uh, if you can access the live videos you can use your raspberry pi as a ip camera without port forwarding okay so it has give us this so you can just directly copy this you don't need to uh, like this and you can paste the url in your url bar and as you can see we have got this okay so as you can see i we have got this so for example if i want to use my local ip here give my local ip like 192.168.105 and uh, this one this is my local ip there it will not work because i am out of the network okay so as you can see it's just it's not loading okay as i am in a different network currently but as but here as you can see we can clearly we, you can see clearly we can use this so if you see you can see my hand that is working properly because we are using a proxy and we are behind a server connect a remote server so you can use this okay so like this we can use everything and uh, so like this we can also use it in our android device okay so let's see so here in play store at first you have to search for remote dot it so you will get something like this the first one and here i have already installed this so after installing you open this and you will get something like this so you give the email address and the password here and then log in so after logging in you will see all the devices here so the first one is that we have just created and it's online so here the select one as you can see both the processes this is h and the camera so here i want to use the camera so you just click connect and after connecting you will get the links i mean the uh, the proxies actually so then you just copy the proxies and then you can uh, use them like we do in the previous in the web browser so you just paste them in any browser and you will see the video so this is how you can access your raspberry pi ports from anywhere in the world over the internet and uh, i hope it was useful and if you like this video uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because that motivates me a lot and thank you